How do you kill Jad with one defense? Well, today, I'll show you. Let's get to it. There are two ways of extra healing besides the Ceridomen Brewers, Ancients and Purple Sweets. Ancients, you could cast Blood Burst, Blood Blitz, and Blood Barrage, which will recover your hit points by 25% of the damage inflicted. To obtain a Rune Pouch, you will need to spend 1.2 million points at the Bounty Hunter shop located in Edgeville. Purple Sweets can heal anywhere from 1 to 3 hit points per sweet. They cost 5.2k each and you will need about 500 purple sweets, which is about 3 mil. I recommend Ancients because it's more cost efficient and it does more healing, but if you don't have Ancients, I really do recommend you to do Desert Treasure. Next, buy at least 40 Ceridome Brews, 40 Super Restore Pots, and 10 Ranging Pots. Therefore, if you mess up and die, you could just go back in. Items that you eat and drink before entering Jad's Cave. Anglerfish, which will boost above the base HP depending on your HP level, a ranging and a stamina pot. Now it's time for your item build, a rune or a dragon crossbow. I recommend the dragon crossbow because of the AoE special attack. A Robin Hood hat, an Ava's accumulator, a Fury which gives plus 5 prayer bonus, diamond bolts enchanted, a toxic blowpipe, a Ceridomen robe top that gives plus 6 prayer bonus, black DI chaps, a regen bracelet, holy sandals which gives plus 3 prayer bonus, and an archer's ring imbued. Now to imbue your archer ring, you would need 600,000 points at Nightmare Zone, which doubles the ranging bonus it gives initially. It gives plus 4, and it doubles to plus 8 after you imbue it. Inventory setup. I have a crossbow, 11 brews, 12 super restore pots, 3 ranging pots, and the rune pouch to cast ancients. Now put your three ranging pots away, eat your angler, drink your stamina in ranging pot, then quickly use your bank to get your three ranging pots and then enter the cave. Before entering the cave, open Google and search Jad Strategies OSRS or click the link in the description below. The wave pattern is a pretty simple algorithm. This page will prepare and show what you're going to be fighting on each wave. Preparing for Jed. When Jed lifts both feet up, he's using Mage. When Jed stomps both feet, he's using Range. It's pretty simple. All the way north of the cave is where you will safe spot from waves 10 through 60. When the Archer spawns, stand all the way back and protect from missiles. When the Mage spawns, stand in the same spot and protect from Mage. Here's an example of safe spotting. Wave 60. One of the hardest waves for one defense pures. Make sure you kill the archers as quick as possible. Wave 62. Two majors will spawn. A red and an orange one. The orange one is where Jad spawns. So after you kill the orange one, that's where Jad will spawn.
it's time to kill Jed. Remember to keep your sound on to help you with his attacks. Also, it's very important that you remain calm the whole fight. At half HP, the healers will spawn and heal Jad to full. Hit the healers so they attack you, then kill them. Defeated Jed. See guys, it's not too hard to get the fire cape as a pure. My next attempt is the inferno cape, which is AIDS, so stay tuned. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching How to Kill Jed at One Defense.